the dreaded fibrin sheath. Let me let me show you what it is. So in a normal dialysis catheter, this is like half of a catheter, I can flush the lines, I can pull the blood out, and I don't have any kind of resistance. And what happens with a fibrin sheath, it's essentially like a protein tail that forms on the tip of the catheter. And you know, the tail wags, it goes, it goes around, it goes in the direction of the blood flow. And if I'm pulling, if I'm pulling this blood out, the tail's like, oh my gosh, I wanna go with you guys. And then it tries to go in, but it's stuck to the catheter catheter and it just restricts blood flow. And then what'll happen? I'm like, oh man, what is going on here? So then I hook up my saline and then I push the saline in and the tail's like, oh yeah, here I am. Everything's fine. And then I push the blood up. I want to pull the blood out again and it restricts the blood flow. Unfortunately, the only cure for a fibrin sheath is to replace the catheter. TPA does not work with a fibrin sheath.